Marquis Motorhomes is the UK's biggest dealer network with 11 sites spread up and down the UK. Little surprise then that it produces its own range of dealer special editions. Well, actually, it produces two ranges of special editions, but today we're going to be looking at the Majestic. So let's see if this 255, a four berth coach built, has a specification that's truly fit for a king. As you can see, the Marquis Majestic 255 is based on the Elders Encore 255. Encore is a new range introduced at the beginning of last season after Eldis quietly dropped Aspire at the end of the previous season. There are two models in the range, both with floor plans designed to tempt caravanners from crossing the divide. There's a French bed at the back of this one with parallel lounge seating up front, which is very familiar in touring caravans. Now you're probably thinking with a total of four berths, but only two belted seats, it doesn't quite add up. But no, there's more to it than that, as we're just about to find out. Both lounge sofas convert very easily into a belted travel seat. It's a very painless operation. You just remove all the seating and the cushions, flip up the bed box, raise it up in a vertical position, drop the hinge at the front, and then you're left with a space underneath where the folding seat via two levers is magically transformed into a forward-facing travel seat with a seat belt. There's a fantastic view on either side of the vehicle, courtesy of the big window, and you also get a view in the direction of travel through the front windscreen. Marquis has given you an engine upgrade for a start from 130 bhp to 150 bhp, so there's plenty of grunt for when you're out on the road doing your travels. Very necessary if you're hauling around lots of touring kit. Other goodies include things like cruise control, airbags for driver and passenger, automatic climate control, DAB radio, USB and Bluetooth connectivity. Now this kitchen has some very nice design touches, first of which is this lovely cylindrical sink. I've never seen anything like this before, so it's actually rather good. Look at that, lovely circular arrangement and very deep too, you get plenty of washing up in there. There's also a very healthy amount of worktop, some drawers all the way down there, and also over here we have a dual fuel cooker with one electric burner and three gas rings, assuming the gas runs out. Underneath we have a separate oven and grill unit and up above a microwave oven. Very nicely done. And also this whole area here has been finished with a different locker facing, which looks very, very swish indeed. With its rather large fixed French bed at the rear, this bedroom looks rather inviting. The fact that it's got a memory foam mattress may make me have a lie down after I finish this. There's storage up above and under the bed, although there are some appliances in there that take a nibble out of the available space. There's also a partition which has been thoughtfully added here to divide the front of the van off from the rear. So your guests up front, if they're going to be partying all the way till dawn, they won't disturb you. The washroom isn't the biggest one in the world, but I like the way it's arranged. In particular, look at the shower cabinet on the end wall. Rather than just plonk it there, they've actually added some surrounds to the side and to the top and to the bottom, so you really have to step into it. I think that's a really pleasing touch. There's also a half-length mirror, vanity unit, plenty of storage, and a swivel loo. And with heating vents in the floor, it's going to be a great space to use as a dressing room in the depths of the winter. The Marquis Majestic 255 will set you back £50,995 on the road. It's 7.4 metres long, but it has a payload of 460 kilograms, so it will have plenty of room for taking all the touring kit a couple with the occasional guest will need. And those occasional guests can fit into those rather natty travel seats that we saw. Pretty ingenious thinking. We haven't mentioned the fact that this van has Audi heating, so it's a genuine four-season tour and will keep you warm and toasty all round the calendar. There's also a couple of other extras as well, like this wind-out canopy awning up there that Marquis has thoughtfully provided. Perfect for days like this where you're seeking a bit of shade. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was in the royal family, I'm not sure I'd want all the hassle of having a royal yacht. I think I'd have a majestic motorhome, just like one of these.